In this question, we are told that the sum all the way up to infinity is equal to 6. But let's go find the first three terms first. So to find term 1, you would plug this number into the place of k. So that's going to be 3. And now some people are going to be like, Kevin, what about p? Don't worry about that. Just keep it as p for now. And then that's to the power of 1. So that actually just equals 3p. Term 2 would be 3 times p to the power of 2, which is just 3p squared. And then term 3 would end up being 3p cubed. So we only really needed the first two because we know that it's a geometric sequence because only geometric sequences can go to infinity. So we don't need to check up on that, but we need to find r. Now r can be term 2 divided by term 1, which is going to be 3p squared over 3p, which equals p. You could also use term 3 divided by term 2 if you wanted to. That would be 3p cubed over 3p squared, which is also p. All right, so we know what r is, it's p. Now, we know that sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r. Now, the sum to infinity is 6. a is term 1, which is 3p. See how I just plug it in? I don't really worry about p. I just plug it in as it is. Then r is p. Now, what I would do is I'd multiply this 1 minus p over, so it'll become like that. You can then say 6 minus 6p equals to 3p you would eventually end up with 6 equals to 9p. And then if you divide, you should eventually get p is 2 thirds.